So the first step in knowing how to prevent choking in the first place or being prepared to help a choking child or do CPR is understanding how the body works. At the very top of that, we have something called the epiglottis and it's a little flap that closes every time you swallow and protects your airway. But if a child is running around or laughing or coughing and eating, sometimes that flap can get really confused and the food could go into the airway pipe and that is when they choke. So understanding this can help us prevent choking in the first place and know how to help if by chance they do choke. Our hearts and lungs are amazing. They work together every second of the day to keep us alive, but sometimes they can stop, even unexpectedly. So it's our job at home to be prepared because high quality CPR can triple the chance of survival for somebody. So this is not only important for parents and grandparents and babysitters, but really everybody to be prepared because less than half of the population says they would even be ready to jump in and help. And you are going to be able to be ready today.